Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Hey, by the, the look of the title of this video, does grilling cause cancer? Uh, we're going to talk about that today. In fact, I was at a meeting the other day and somebody brought up the word acrylamide. I don't know if you ever heard of that before. But basically, it's a term that we use in something called a Millard reaction. And it's, it's a term that we use when we're talking about advanced glycation end products. And I know it's kind of a, a big, long word, but we're going to learn all about it today. Basically, it's a bonding of sugar molecule to a protein or even a lipid or a fat molecule. And there's two ways that we can get it. First off, by eating anything that is sugar or turns to sugar, or number two, eating caramelized foods, kind of like uh, grilling, right? Or even other foods that are brown. And who doesn't love the, those foods? I know I do, but we're going to find out maybe they're not the best thing for you. Uh, the other thing you have to understand is advanced glycation end products, they're, they're a normal thing. They occur in everyday chemical reactions in our body. We just have to be able to, to manage and moderate them and to make sure that we understand the side effects and the problems from eating them and eating them too much. Uh, you know, you have to also understand that they can contribute to uh, aging. And so what they do is they cause the protein fibers to become very stiff and malformed, you know, hence the, the wrinkles in your face. Uh, and so in addition to that, what they do is they make it so your cells are more vulnerable uh, to certain agents like UV lights and cigarette smoke. So I, I looked around and I found a, a PowerPoint that was already done. And I'm going to go through a few slides with you uh, so we can understand it a little bit better. All right, before we get started, I wanted to, uh, to make sure we give credit where credit's due. And this PowerPoint presentation came from Advanced Glycation End Products uh, by Lindsay Peterson and David Turner. All right, so we want to understand what advanced glycation end products are. We call them AGES, A-G-E-S. And basically, like we mentioned before, it's when you take a sugar or a hydrocarbon and you attach it to a protein. And that happens when you either grill food, uh, brown food, or it even happens in normal everyday life with chemical reactions. And what you end up with is a glycated protein. So what happens is these glycated proteins end up being in your body and they create stiffness in some of the, the, the proteins and make it so we have some issues, especially with aging, amongst other things. So our Western lifestyle increases the advanced glycation end product levels. And like I mentioned to you, there's two ways to do it. There's endogenous sources, which means the stuff that you're eating, let's just say you're eating sugar. And there's exogenous, meaning the glycated foods that are browned or grilled. So the first way you're eating the sugar and your body is glycating those proteins with the chemical reactions that occur. The second way, like I mentioned, is from grilling and browning your food. And there's many different reasons and you may even choose some of these foods or have the, the exogenous or the outside sources, uh, socioeconomic and, and environmental risk factors. So what happens is sometimes when people aren't either having enough money and or they have certain lifestyles according to their um, heritage, they're going to eat certain foods. And those certain foods may not necessarily be the best for us. And also smoking. Smoking is another environmental risk factor. And there's, there's others as well. So we end up with a problem when the endogenous and exogenous is more so than the ability for our enzymatic system and also our kidney system to get rid of these ages or advanced glycation end products. So we have to make sure our system is, is healthy if we're going to eat a lot of these foods. And usually the problem is usually when you're eating a lot of these foods, you're not healthy. So we end up with long-term problems. So, you know, as you can see, there's urinary bladder, kidney problems, uh, sexual dysfunction, infertility, uh, lymphedema, heart damage, um, there's nausea, weight changes, there's diabetes, there's insulin resistance, pain and stress and memory and other mental issues and immune responses. So you can see this pretty much affects everything. It affects your whole body. And it's something that most people really never even think of before. So when you reduce advanced glycation end products, it also helps minimize your cancer uh, rates and, and also increases your, your quality of life. Let's take a look. So first we have raw chicken, and this gives you about 800 advanced glycation end products uh, per 100 grams. 
Now, mind you, it's not cooked, right? So it's the, the bottom line uh, amount of glycating type of food sources from a real basic food that isn't an exogenous form, meaning it hasn't been grilled yet. There's nothing that's been done to it. It's just the amount of chemical reactions that will happen within the body as a result of eating, just say raw chicken. So we poach the chicken. You can see those numbers go up to 100. And I don't know about you, but poached chicken doesn't look really too too inviting to me, all right? But you can see it's, it's increased it even just a little bit just by poaching it. Then we get fried chicken. Oh my goodness, who doesn't love fried chicken? But look at the number difference. 8,000 from frying chicken. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm looking at that and getting hungry right now. I'm really not getting hungry looking at the poached chicken, though, uh, or even the raw. Uh-oh, what about a Big Mac meal? 7,800 glycating issues per 100 grams. Uh, and so you can see right off the bat, that's a big issue. Chicken nuggets? 86.27. Wow. And look at this. Bacon. Fried five minutes with no oil. 91,577 per 100 grams of bacon. Uh, so you can understand it's not just the food itself, meaning the, the toxins and the fats and everything else that come with bacon, but it's the advanced glycating end products that are a real issue and can be a big problem with your health. And of course, here's my favorite, carrots, 10. What a difference in the foods we consume. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the top part of this, this infographic. So we have cancer disparity risk factors, meaning what things contribute to these problems of cancer. First off, low income, you're eating cheap food that really isn't healthy for you. Uh, you have high fat, high sugar diet. You have a sedentary lifestyle. You don't exercise. The processed foods are there and you're eating fried and grilled foods. So what happens is it takes the sugar and it binds them to protein and forms these advanced glycation end products. And these advanced glycation end products accumulate in your tissues and organs. So as we look at the bottom part of that screen, now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So the exogenous uh, advanced glycation end products, meaning the ones that you consume, let's say the grilling or the browning of the food, it creates a couple of different issues. First off, they, they call it AGES, A-G-E-S is an acronym for advanced glycating end products. And you'll see that they attach to what we call a RAGE, which is nothing more than a receptor for the advanced glycating end product. And as we attach it to that receptor, the cell receptor, what we're doing is creating a problem with NF-kappa-beta pathways. So what is NF-kappa-beta? Well, it's a protein complex that reads and copies the DNA. And it's the single most important factor in causing inflammation in the body so there are other issues in there as well, uh, what we call cytokines. And cytokines are nothing more than intercell signaling. And these cytokines locate target immune cells and interact with receptors on the immune cells uh, by binding to them, just kind of like a receptor like we talked about. So the interaction triggers and or stimulates a specific reaction by the target cells. And the result is inflammation. And if kappa beta is activated by a response to stress or, or these cytokines and free radicals, UV radiation, oxidized LDL, you've heard of LDL before, and or bacterial or viral infections. So when we start to stimulate those different immune cells, it creates an inflammatory response. And as a result, and it's a lot more complicated than this, we, we can have cancer, cancer or an onset or progression if you have a low-grade cancer. So you can see that eating advanced glycation end products really isn't good for your health, even if you're well, but if you're sick, it's even more of a problem. All right, so advanced glycation end products are, are really decreased by physical activity. I know that sounds kind of funny, but what happens is 
you're consuming a lot of the sugars that you're eating. They're not able to bind to the proteins. And therefore, when you have increased physical activity and a healthy diet, we reduce the accumulation of these ages. We reduce the inflammation in what we call reactive oxygen species, which, which alter DNA. And if we do the right thing, we'll maintain what we call our telomeres. Telomeres are the, the end part of your chromosome, and they determine how many times your cell replicates. So as that telomere gets shorter, either you age faster or cancer can become a problem. Yeah, I know we kind of went a little bit off there, uh, and it might have been a little bit confusing, but you have to understand that advanced glycating end products, they cause an imbalance between molecules called free radicals and also your antioxidants, the things that save us from these aberrant chemical reactions that destroy DNA. And what they do is they, they lead to chronic inflammation that can promote the development of a variety of chronic diseases. Uh, you know, several of them come to mind. One of them is diabetes, which is huge. You know, when we're testing diabetes and we want to see how people are doing, we're going to do a test called hemoglobin A1C. I don't know if you've heard of that before. But what that is, it's a, it's a term for testing glycosylated hemoglobin. And you're probably saying, what does that mean? Well, it's, it's how much sugar is stuck to a red blood cell in 120 days. So when come, somebody comes in and they say, gee, you know what? I've been doing good. I haven't been consuming sugar or anything that turns to sugar. Well, I, I do the test and I can really see what's happening. So diabetes is huge for this disease. Also Alzheimer's, which is considered type three diabetes. You have cardiovascular disease, you have arthritis, you have cancer, you have liver disease, kidney disease, pancreatic disease. I mean, the, the list is endless. So you really have to balance how much you do eat from exogenous, meaning the grilled foods, the caramelized foods, and the endogenous foods, meaning the, the sugars or anything that turns to sugar. Because these issues are real and it can create a big problem. So, you know, it's not uncommon that I hear a patient say, gee, I love grilling and I grill every day. Well, grilling every day may cause a problem. Uh, and so you can see when we took a look at the carrots, how much different the raw foods or the, the vegetable matter was than the actual grilled foods. It was a big difference. Don't forget to eat your veggies and you have to limit sugar or anything that turns to sugar and minimize anything that is browned, any of your foods that are browned. Uh, I know it's not as fun, but if you want to live longer, you want to live healthier, it may make a big difference for you. So I hope this helps.